Hi y'all, I'm Kat and today I'll be showing y'all around my room and some of my favorite things in it currently. So I just got back from a long day of class and I can't wait to show y'all around. Um, I'm listening to Crush by Ethel Kane as I redecorate my board for February. It's been one of my favorite songs lately. So now I'm erasing January on the board. That way I can leave space for February and I'm going to decorate it with some of my favorite things from February that kind of just remind me of it. So I'm starting out with some hearts for Valentine's Day. And then I'm also going to add things for Mardi Gras Day. So I'm adding some beads here. And for those of y'all that don't know, it's also known as Fat Tuesday. And it's the day before Ash Wednesday when you can kind of just relax and have everything before you give it up for Lent on Ash Wednesday. And so it's typically celebrated in Louisiana and also by my family. Um, and the colors are usually green, purple, and yellow. But I didn't have a yellow marker, so I tried to improvise and use orange. But unfortunately, my orange marker died. Bruh. Which is so sad, but we can make do and just use green and purple. It still works. Um, so now I'm adding some final touches for the top on February. I think we're so cute. And now I'm taking a water break. Especially after a long day, you gotta make sure you hydrate. And I'm gonna be using my phone calendar to make sure that I have all the national holidays in the right place and all of the days numbered correctly. Um, I always forget which year is leap year, so I need to rely on that for February to make sure I have the right number of days. And I'm gonna be um, putting some national holidays starting off with Groundhog Day. I think Groundhog Day is such a fun tradition. I don't know why it doesn't get as much recognition as it did when I was in middle school, but you know, <laughs> it's still around. Um, I couldn't really think of anything to draw for that other than a groundhog, so I kind of gave up at first, but I'm gonna go back and redecorate it and make it more fun. Um, and also, I totally forgot Ash Wednesday. I didn't realize that it was the same day as Valentine's Day, so I didn't leave enough room to decorate both, and even if I did redecorate it, it kind of wouldn't flow with the rest of the clip, so I left it out for this month, but maybe next year. Now I'm adding President's Day, and then I'm gonna add some final touches on Groundhog's Day, just a little bit of decoration so it's not as sad. So that is my final board for the month, my calendar. I think it's super cute, what about y'all? So now I'm gonna be showing y'all the king cake that my mom sent me. This is also for Mardi Gras Day, and the tradition is they usually eat it on or around Mardi Gras Day, and there's a little baby inside the cake, and whoever gets it throws the party the next year. That's the baby. Um, it's plastic, so they keep it out just for choking reasons. Um, and so king cakes are typically oval shape with uh, green, yellow, and purple, all the colors, and some sprinkles. But this one is like a Danish Kringle type king cake, so it has some cream cheese filling, which is so yummy. And I couldn't wait to eat it, um, so I wasn't able to wait for Mardi Gras Day just because it's too good, so half of it's kind of eaten already. <laughs> um, but that is one of my favorite things in my room currently until I eat the rest of it. Um, and so now I'm gonna clean up, gotta make sure my space is clean, and I'm gonna show y'all some of my little knickknacks that um, are either little art pieces or things that have been sent to me but are just kind of small things in my room. So that's my bed, my shelves are a bit eclectic, um, my Snoopy pumpkin that I painted for Halloween, my bulletin board, and my ghost painting that I painted, and now my tissue box that my aunt sent me. I think it's the cutest thing ever. Just look at that. So now I'm going to be opening up my Rococo box. I've been obsessed with that forever. Um, I just love how pastel and cute it is, and this just holds some of my self-care and hygiene stuff, mainly hair things, but it also has my Glamnetic nails. I'm not sponsored, but I love them. I think I'm going to use that ombre set for spring bake just because it's one of the cutest that I have currently. And so now some sparkly barrettes, and again, a lot of these are hair things, but I just love that I have all of my little hair things in one box and it's just so cute something about it it's just so fun um and i feel like this box is a really good representation of me how everything can be both messy and organized at the same time i like to call it eclectic <laughs> um just to kind of justify it you know so here's some ribbons for my hair to make into bows and i'm gonna put everything back up ignore the um, clear rubber bands that are in the bottom. The bag broke for them, unfortunately, Bruh. so they're kind of scattered everywhere, but we hide it. You know, that's what we do. And so now I'm putting everything back up, and I really hoped y'all enjoyed that room tour, even though it's very short. Um, it was super fun for me to make and just show y'all some of my favorite things, and now I would like to thank the DU Tech Check, my professor, and my friend Maddie for letting me use her mic, as well as everyone else listed below. Thank you for watching. Bye!